Sam Rodonna from boysandgirlshairstyles.com and today what we want to show you is a balayage color. Um, it's a French word, it just means sweep. Um, what this color is good for is people that don't love to get their hair colored all the time. Um, just It's going to go from dark and then kind of gradually go lighter at your ends. Um, and with Mackenzie what we're going to do is we're going to leave her natural color up here and I'm going to put some red in with it and then on the ends is going to be just a light brown. Um, I'm going to use a 9N with 40 volume um, through her ends so it lightens that up. Um, we was going to use bleach but her hair is a little bit sensitive and a little bit fine, a little bit thinner so we're not going to use bleach, we're going to use the, the 9N. And the red I'm going to use a 4R um, from Goldwell and um, let's just get started. I'll show you what to do here. Just take a section on your bottom. The main thing is you want to see how the hair is going to lay when it dries. See where the layers are. You can see where that drops. So you're going to want to just take this section, this bottom section, okay, and then get that out of the way. Okay, you're going to take a section. I don't love to take it like right, right at the edge here. I like to come in just a little bit. Okay, you're just going to want to come through that with your fingers. Okay, and then this is the red. Okay, so I'm going to let, let her natural color be here. Then I'm going to start just sweeping, brushing this on. About there. Okay, and then you're going to see that down at this bottom, this is where we want the color to be lighter, okay? So now I'm going to take this light color, you're going to brush this on, come through the end, saturate it, make sure it goes on both sides, okay? Then we're going to just lay that down. And just, just kind of make sure that you brush it up into the red a little bit. And then you can always just take a towel and wipe your hand with your gloves. Okay, then I'm going to leave a little section out. See, you can see how that's going to fall. This, this color is going to be colored, or this piece is going to be colored, and these are left out. Then we're going to take this next section. Same thing, just take this red, just kind of sweep it up here. You don't have to go right to the scalp, because we want a little bit of her natural color coming through. And I did put a 20 volume with this red, just so it lifts a little bit while it's depositing, so it will be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to take the light, the 9N on this bottom. Again, just kind of brush it up here into the red a little bit. Okay, make sure you saturate that. Okay, wipe your hand again. Then I'm just going to take a little piece over here. Do the same thing. Just kind of brush that red up through here. Okay, and then take the 9 and go to the bottom. Okay, you're going to lay that down. Now, um, we're going to put some clear plastic over this, just so the other hairs don't, you know, fall on top of it. Okay, then you're going to take your next section, okay, get that out of the way. Okay, now this part, this part's going to fall in her front a little bit, so I am going to do this side piece right here. Um, brush the red on, and you can decide what color you guys would like to do. Just brush that in. Okay, then you're just going to lay that flat on there. Wipe off your hands again. Leave a little bit of color in between. Take your next section. Okay, brush on that red. And the fun thing about this is you don't have to have this totally perfect um, because that's, that's the point of the balayage, is not having it totally perfect. Um, 
just so it curls out better. You don't have those perfect lines like you would with a weave. Okay, so there's the red. And just set them down carefully. Okay, again, this, this side is going to kind of fall forward a little bit. So we're, we want to do the side piece. Put that red on. Make sure these ends are good and saturated with the color. Okay, now I've made this piece long enough back here that I'm just going to flip that this way and flip this side. Oops, sorry. This way. Okay, so if you make it long enough, then you don't have to keep putting it, each one of them up, I guess, the, the plastic. You can just flip it around. Okay, now... Again, I'm going to do this section, and as soon as I um, get this, this part done, we're going to do another part to show you um, the crown area. Okay, so this color, this piece is colored here, so I'm going to leave this piece out so that can kind of go over it. So this is the piece that I'm going to want to color now. section so now you should be getting the gist of it just what you want to cover and wear I always wipe my hand in between so you don't get the colors way mixed up Yeah, people are more are going more with the sun kiss look, it seems, um, lately. So this is a good, good um, procedure to do. Okay. It's obviously really popular in New York right now. So we're getting there, little Nephi. <laughs> Now I'm going to leave this piece out, okay? I am going to come above that little piece and hurry and color that one though, where that falls into her face. Okay, I'm going to leave that there and then we're going to do our next video and I'll show you how I'm going to part the top and go from there. So just watch the next video.